Today I'm going to be updating this kind of outdated beige color on the walls here in my living room. Now there are so many paints on the market that promise that they can cover in one coat. So I'm actually gonna be putting one of those to the test today. I don't know why they promised and guaranteed one coat coverage. So today I wanna to encourage you to not be intimidated by the task of repainting an entire room. Of course, it's always ideal to try and get your walls painted before you move into a new space, but that isn't always possible. Once you get all of your stuff in your space, like all of your furniture and you get things hung up on the wall, a feeling definitely sinks in that is like, I could never paint this space now. There's just too many things to move and it would just be too big of a job. So we just never get around to doing it. Well, I have a suggestion for you and we are gonna get into that right now. So my little secret for tackling painting an entire room after you've gotten all of your stuff in it is to do it one wall at a time. So I started doing this in my own living room. I never really liked the beige color on the walls when we moved in and I lived with it for a while, but it really did feel so outdated and I was curious, I'm like, how much different would my living room and my decor feel if I changed the wall colors in here? So one day I got up the courage and I started repainting my living room one wall at a time. And I shared that process with you all along the way. The very first wall that I tackled painting by myself, I shared with you over on Instagram stories and then a good amount of time passed but then eventually I did the second wall which I shared with you here on YouTube and in that video I also talk about the secret of just tackling one wall at a time and you can actually see that wall behind me and the difference in the paint color between the bright white and the beige that was on the walls when we moved in. Updating the paint color on your walls has such a huge impact on the look and feel of a space and I definitely cannot wait to tackle the last two walls in my living room. So this time I am doing it two walls at a time, but that's only because one of the walls has a bunch of windows and it's not as much square footage. So I'm hoping it'll be a little bit easier on me, but I'm gonna share a couple tips and tricks along the way on how I make it easier on myself to take on painting walls in my home with a bunch of stuff all by myself. But if you like home makeover projects and talking about home decor, you're gonna love hanging out here with us on our channel, so make sure that you subscribe. Now you can see the two walls that I have already painted and the big difference and how much brighter that side of the room is. I'm excited to get it on the other side of the room. So the very first thing that we're gonna do to start this process is take some before pictures. So this is obviously a small, kind of unimportant step in the grand scheme of things, but I love having a before and after picture so you can see what a huge difference it made in your space. I promise you that looking at the before and after pictures will make you feel really accomplished and then you can share it with other people too and you can show them how beautifully you updated your space. So the first challenge that comes into play when you are painting a room filled with furniture all by yourself is moving heavy pieces of furniture. But I have an easy trick for you. You can easily move around heavy pieces of furniture all by yourself by using furniture sliders. You just lift one leg at a time of your heavy piece of furniture and you only really need to lift it very, very little off the ground and slide a furniture slider in there. And then you're able to move your furniture around all by yourself. Obviously you have to remove artwork and things hanging on your walls in order to paint them like I just did by removing my shelves. But the nice thing is that you can just leave the nail or the screw right in the wall. Whatever that item was hanging from can just stay in the wall and you can paint over it and it's really not a big deal and you can just hang your artwork back up when you're all done. And something that made it easier on me in my case is instead of unplugging everything related to the TV, I just scooted the credenza forward a little bit. I'm gonna work around the wires and I'm gonna put a drop cloth down over the rug. And then that way later when I'm done, I can just move the TV credenza back to where it was and I didn't have to unplug anything. I just about have everything moved out of the way. I had a wardrobe change, it changed into my paint clothes. And I also vacuumed a little bit to kind of clean and prepare the space for me working here soon. But one more thing that is really gonna help you if you are tackling this project all by yourself 
is to cover your furniture with a plastic sheet. So you get this really thin, lightweight plastic that's really very big, and you can just toss it over your furniture. And why this really helps, it just means that you don't have to move your furniture quite as far. So since I am doing this by myself, I had to move the furniture by myself, and I didn't have to move it very far because I'm able to just cover it up, and then that'll protect it from any splatter for when I roll the paint on the walls. You don't even have to cover everything in plastic, you just have to cover whatever is closest to the wall that you're gonna be painting. The next thing I wanna to suggest to you to make life a lot easier on you is to just go ahead and invest in, well, it's not even really an investment, just go ahead and get yourself a little roller kit. So you can get these pretty much at any hardware store or on Amazon. I will link one down below in the description for you. But it's basically just like a little set that comes with a pan and a liner and a roller and a paintbrush. That way you know that you have everything that you need for your project ready to go and you don't have to go rummaging around the garage or the basement looking for paint rollers and paint brushes. And then when you find them, they're hard and you can't use them anyway because they have dried paint all over them. I know the one that I got for myself has been a lifesaver because I know exactly where I keep it. It's always there. No one uses it except for me when I go around and do paint projects. And it was only like 15 bucks. So it was definitely worth that to me. And then my next tip is probably the most important thing that I can share with you about how to make this painting project a lot easier on yourself. And that is making sure that you are using a good quality paint. So paint technology, has come a long way. It used to take three, four coats to cover walls no matter what color you were doing. But now there are so many paints on the market that promise that they can cover in one coat. So I'm actually going to be putting one of those to the test today. Over the years I've tried lots of different types of paint from Benjamin Moore to Sherwin Williams to paint that you can buy at Home Depot and Lowe's. And for a long time I settled on a brand called Valspar which you can get at Lowe's because it had a good price point but also really good coverage. It always 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 covered in two coats for me. But today I'm gonna try this paint out. Um, I also got this at Lowe's. It was like the tier above the paint that I'd always been buying so it was like four or five six dollars more expensive but it guarantees that it's gonna cover in one coat. So we are gonna put that to the test today. I will let you know if it actually does what it promises but I feel like that's gonna make it so much easier on me. If I could just do one coat of paint that is like a game changer for making this project so much faster and easier. I will put all of the information for the paint that I'm using today as well as the color down in the description. All right, it is time to get some paint up on the wall. on one of the walls done. I also got a significant amount of paint all over myself, um, but I'm not feeling very confident about the one coat coverage. I'm gonna show you why. The wall looks really splotchy and not at all covered. I'm actually so far disappointed in this paint and the performance. <laughs> I just finished the first coat and even after the paint dried a little bit it does not look great with just the one coat I don't know why they promised and guaranteed one coat coverage because in my opinion it's like not even close <laughs> at least from my experience from another paint brand that I've used but anyway I'm used to doing two coats so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that and the good news is at least that the second coat is always a little bit faster and easier because you've already covered everything in paint so it should go a lot quicker <laughs> So it's the next morning. I just left everything where it was when I finished painting the second coat yesterday so that everything could dry nicely. And I figured I could check this morning and see if anything needed a third coat. 
And I am just gonna do a little touching up or along the very top edge real quick this morning. Just a third coat in those spots just to get it looking nice and even. And then it's time to finally put this room back together. <laughs> about to get into all of the before and afters, but my very last suggestion to you is to be confident in yourself that you can tackle any project and transform your surroundings. Do not wait to start living your life, just do it now. You are really gonna love the results when you're all done. So let's look and see how mine turned out. One last note before I wrap up this video, I do not recommend the paint that I used in my living room this time. I thought I was doing the right thing by kind of upgrading, paying a little bit more for a paint that guaranteed one coat coverage and that was not my experience at all. I definitely did two coats and it technically needs a third coat and I had to do a third coat in some spots. Now a paint that I can recommend to you is by Valspar. You also get it at Lowe's and it's called Signature. I've been using this paint for years and I love it. It covers so well. I only ever do two coats. I have never, never done a third coat even just in a couple spots, like around the edging. It always covers so well. So I'm gonna go back to that paint from now on until I find one that does actually cover in one coat. So if you actually have had experience with a paint that covers in one coat, I would love to know what it is. Let me know down in the comments because I would love to use a paint that covers in one coat, but that was not my experience this time. Definitely do not get this paint. Go for the Valspar signature. But all of that paint drama aside, I hope that this video really inspired you to tackle a project of your own and as always I hope that it inspired you to see your own home in a new light. Tell me one thing how can they confidently say on the can that it covers in one coat when it honestly was like three coats. I did two. I refused to do a third full coat but there were some areas I had to go around and do like a third. I don't know I don't how can they how can the can say that when that's like not at all what my experience was. I'm clearly not over it. <laughs> but really, let me know down in the comments if you have found a paint that covers in one coat. I would love to try it out. But for now, I am happy to stick with the Valspar. Anyway, I'm done going on and on about the paint now. <laughs>